Hey, and welcome to a comparison slash review of the Samsung T5, the G Drive SSD R, the R stands for rugged, and the Samsung X5. Now, with these three drives, the T5 and the G uh, drive can be had for around 250 pounds if you look around on eBay and you do some research you can find it's um, brand new for around 250 whereas the x5 even used costs around 800 to 900 pounds you can literally get three of the other drives for the same price as this the Samsung x5 but there is a good reason for this this is the only true Thunderbolt 3 drive of the lot now the red bottom I'm not really a big fan of um, it does have a little indicator light as do all three show you that it's working but it feels really cheap and plastic so when it comes to build quality which is what we'll look at first i mean just have a listen to what it sounds like when you tap on this thing now this is a 900 pound drive the rubber at the bottom i'm not a big fan of and as you can see it slides all over the table it's supposed to stop this device from sliding around but it feels really cheap and tacky to me um, and i don't really like the design and look of it the t5 the only complaint about the build quality of this is that it gets thumbprints pretty easily the oils from your skin transfer to it, it does have a light again um, to show you when it's in use but when you squeeze the device between your fingers you kind of feel like you feel like you could actually break this if you tried hard enough which is a problem that the gtech ssdr does not have let's take a look at this one next as you can see inside the blue is a metal enclosure around the ssd itself and then it's got a rubber enclosure around that and it's sealed uh, around the edges as well underneath the metal you can't quite see it there but it's sealed which gives it an ip67 i believe it is please double check that before you quote me on that rating and it also makes it crush proof as well um, i'd be happy to drop that whereas the other two i certainly would not comparing them size wise you can see that it's taller but slimmer than the t5 um, and the drive on the very left the x5 to me just doesn't look as look as good as this this is also the best looking drive to me it's the most rugged one um, then i'd say it's the t5 and finally i'd say it's this i mean if you told me this was the cheapest drive and i didn't know anything about them i would definitely agree with you that this was the cheapest looking one now let's take a look at the Samsung T5 and do some speed tests. Starting with the Samsung T5, you get the writes of around 485 and you get read speeds of around 525. Next, let's take a look at the G Drive. Um, with this, it's just a tiny, tiny bit slower than the Samsung. The write speeds are around 470 we found and the read speeds are around 515. In video editing and in day-to-day -day use, you are not going to notice a difference. In video transfer of a 10 gigabyte file, you might notice a difference of a second or two. Whereas with the Samsung X5, the only true Thunderbolt 3 um, drive here, it will only work if your laptop has Thunderbolt 3, otherwise it won't even mount and you can only use a Thunderbolt 3 cable. As you can see, the write speeds are around 2,100 and the read speeds are around 2,350. But we got this drive thinking that it may resolve an issue that we have with Final Cut, even though we've got the latest Vega 20 graphics card in our MacBook Pro and we've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, playback is still very choppy and things still do break up so it's not going to resolve that we still needed to create proxies for multicam clips and if we still need to do that why not save a whole load of money and just go with one of the two cheaper drives because out of the three as i said you can buy a samsung t5 a g drive and another t5 and still have about 100 pound left over for the price of the x5 for us, the G Drive was the best one just because it feels so sturdy. If you drop this thing, it wouldn't really matter. And also, compared to the T5, um, which seems to be much more popular for some reason, the T5 is so, so marginally faster that you will not notice in video editing. When you're transferring large files, you may get one to two seconds, but for us, the ruggedness is worth it because, um, you know, especially in the long run. Uh, this, the Samsung X5, we just can't recommend. It gets insanely hot to the touch and it does throttle the speed in our long um, speed test that we've done transferring huge files. It does throttle the speed. Also, we couldn't just hand this to somebody and have them plug it in um, into their laptop, whereas with the T5 um, and the G Drive, 
you can use, as you see to the right, you can use one of those cables, which are USB-C to USB cable, and it will, it will work fine. Whereas with the X5, the person has to have not a USB-C port, but a Thunderbolt 3 port. There is a difference, which means we couldn't just offload our video data and hand it to anybody and be sure that there's not going to be an issue. Um, we had to ask if the person had a Thunder 3 port on their device and it makes um, the whole thing a little bit more of a pain in the butt to deal with. If you're using it on your own, it's fine. But again, in everyday editing, we found that if you're going to need to transcode, this isn't going to suddenly mean you don't need to transcode your media. Um, and we're using the Vega 20, the latest MacBook Pro 32 gigabytes RAM. And this didn't really give us any benefits and advantages other than transferring files. It was four times faster than uh, the X5 and the G drive. But, you know, other than that, we honestly noticed no difference in day to day use. That's why we can't really recommend this as you can buy both the G drive and the X5 for half the price. You will lose this amazing speed, but still 500 megabytes average read and write is nothing to be laughed at. It's still really good for video editing. It's, we actually put Windows on one of the machines and uh, instead of having boot camp on the having the boot camp windows iso on the actual macbook pro that we're using we put it on an external drive and we boot off that and windows works absolutely fine so out of the three um, we would say you can't go wrong with the g drive or the t5 you really can't if you like this video please subscribe um, all these drives were paid for by ourselves we didn't uh, get given any incentives to get these there are amazon affiliate links in the description below it costs you nothing more and it helps us out to make these videos more in the future. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you back soon.